Hey Fruit Bats, today's video is on supermodel Adriana Lima. She's 34 years old, 5 foot 10 and a Victoria's Secret model. She's been on a heap of covers across the world and she's got a ton of followers on Instagram, over 5 million. So straight up, I'm disappointed as she's representing Maybelline and has done for years. So I started working with Maybelline a few years now, I think. Almost five years, I believe. And I always wanted to be a Maybelline model. I've seen in Brazil all the ads. And I finally get to, a chance to work with them. So it's good. I'm happy to make my family proud of me. You know, and I enjoy it. I enjoy what I do. What's Adriana's diet like? Well, this post says it all. One word comes to mind, starving. So she's restricting her calories a lot and she's using discipline to stay on track. And we all know how long discipline lasts before we go fucking crazy. Something else Adriana puts her body and metabolism through is a Victoria's Secret show preparation. Basically, it's no eating and deliberate dehydration. Adriana Lima. She told The Telegraph all about what it really takes to be a Victoria's Secret angel. Lima says she worked out every day with a personal trainer for the past few months. And for the past few weeks, she worked out twice a day, jumping rope, boxing, lifting weights. And then there's the diet. Do not try this at home. Lima says she gets on a regimen of protein shakes, vitamins, and a gallon of water a day. For nine days leading up to the show, she doesn't eat any solid food. She only drinks shakes containing powered egg. Mmm, egg. Two days before the show, she stops drinking the gallon of water. Then 12 hours before the show, she stops drinking any water at all. She says, and I quote, no liquids at all, so you dry out. Sometimes you can lose up to eight pounds just from that. That is one determined, dedicated, dehydrated model. So as you heard, Adriana does a lot of exercise, far more exercise than I do, and I'm just as lean as her on moderate exercise. But that's what a lot of people do to try and compensate for their poor diet. And due to her inadequate diet, she needs to drink coffee first before a workout. I like intense workout. Intense, intense, intense. And I'm too extreme. I go, sometimes when I go to the gym, I'm there for really three hours, and I'm not exaggerating. So if you're eating correctly, there is no need to overdo the exercise. You can do a moderate amount and you're gonna stay in shape long term. And these are the sort of foods that are keeping Adriana working out like a demon. World's best breakfast, she calls this. I can see milk, I can see processed flesh, I can see cheese, a couple of types of cheese. Luckily, there is some bread, which could be vegan, and we've got some fruit and we've got some juice. But unfortunately, most of her diet consists of animal products and that's why she has to restrict her calories so drastically. So we find yet another celebrity who likes to suck on beaver's anus. I don't know what it is. They must love the taste of beavers, but... Adriana is using cigarettes to suppress her appetite. That's what people do. Instead of snacking on food, they'll grab a cigarette. It's another form of calorie restriction. But what I want to know is, didn't she get the memo? That shit kills you. I truly cannot believe people still smoke. And then again, when I look at their diet, it all makes sense. So what we have here is a smoking machine and inside this container we have a pair of lungs that have never had cigarettes before. And what they're doing is they're giving the lungs cigarettes. They end up giving the lungs 60 cigarettes and the results are just crazy. The amount of tar build up for just 60 cigarettes. So on the left we have the smoker's lung and on the right we have the healthy lung. And there's some tar build up and it's just really offensive. You can see the trachea here has no tar at all. This is the non-smoker trachea and then we open up this one that's only after 60 cigarettes so you can imagine how much damage you're doing when you're smoking you know over and over again over the years it's just building and building and building and if you have a look at these lungs the difference it is quite significant for just 60 cigarettes these models need to wake up to the deathly example they're setting for the youth for those of you who are stupid enough to continue smoking this is what you're sucking down your windpipe a whole lot of poison. So Fruit Bats, please be careful who you choose as a role model. These ladies may look amazing for now on the outside due to genetics and their age, but they are destroying their health on the inside, destroying the environment, destroying the lives of animals. They are not good role models. But the awesome thing is they can be good role models. So Adriana, step it up and try high carb vegan lifestyle. Hey Fruit Bats, so that's my video for today. Please take a moment to press the thumbs up button. That really helps spread the message. And we need to get this message out. We need genuinely healthy role models in this world. Not just pretty faces and bodies.